After 9-11, I decided that day that I wanted to be an infantryman and lead soldiers in combat. And was assigned here at 4th Brigade, 25th ID. When we got to the battle space, it was basically controlled by militias and the Al-Qaeda organization. Uh, my goal is to uh, conduct an operation of this type at least once a week. Uh, there's plenty of targets in our uh, area of operation to conduct these types of operations, so I will continually work uh, through my chain of command to uh, continue having this type of uh, operation. Over time, we were able to force out both the militias and Al-Qaeda, whether that was from killing or capturing, or whether that was from our, our high op tempo in that area caused them to go somewhere else to conduct their operations. It was too difficult for them to do what they needed to do in our area. They, did, they had no safe haven uh, in the Charlie Company battle space. We killed or captured over 100 insurgents. Um, and not to mention the, the countless uh, caches of equipment, ammunition, weapons that we recovered from the enemy. Hey, we got TNT in here. Yeah. This third floor space. But on top of that, that that's on the kinetic side. Um, we built bridges, um, we got schools rebuilt, and that was through the civil affairs. We had two town councils set up from nothing. We got two agricultural unions set up. So we work, we were working several lines of operation. We were working uh, their economy, their police force. We worked hand in hand with the Iraqi Highway Patrol and our Iraqi police, as well as the Iraqi army. We were partnered with two Iraqi infantry companies. So we were doing training and operations directly with those Iraqi officials. I conducted a weekly meeting uh, with the Iraqi army leaders. We discussed the planning and execution of joint missions with them. It usually involved large-scale raids or large-scale clearing operations. From, we went from them not doing anything at all till the end, they were actually getting out there and gaining their own intelligence, building their own target packets, and then conducting operations on their own. So we always try to ingrain in them that we're not going to be here forever. Yeah, we're here to help you now, uh, and we can definitely come and save the day in, in the event that you're being overwhelmed. But over time, they realize that, yeah, they're going to be on their own eventually, and they're going to need to put that, that first foot out. I have seen great improvement in the quality of life for the Iraqi people. Um, we have, they basically have a, a new army, a new police force, and a new government. It is fledgling, and it's not the most powerful in the region. However, it's coming along, and I have seen constant improvement over the two years that I did spend in that country. I saw a vast improvement from when I was there in 2003 through to 2004, and then in, in 06, 07. So, de definite improvements. It's, it's always getting better. Uh, and as of late, you know, the, the uh, amount of attacks by enemy organizations has definitely dropped. So the enemy situation is improving, the situation for the civilians is improving. Regardless of how we got to where we are, we're here. And staying there and finishing the job is the right answer. We lost one while I was in command, uh, Corporal James Lindsay. Uh, he died in, uh, in an IED uh, blast while driving a Humvee in, in a mounted patrol. At the, at the end of the day, the commander is responsible for everything the company does or fails to do. Um, and that's something you live with. Um, when we came back from Iraq, we memorialized the four we lost on the, on the deployment, three before I took command. When the brigade memorial was dedicated, we actually had representatives from all four families come up here. For me, I was able to let go a lot of the feelings I had when I could finally talk to uh, Corporal Lindsay's mother. Uh, that was that was big for me. Um, I think I needed uh, 
I needed to have her basically tell me that she didn't hate me. You know, that was that was uh, that was a defining moment for me. I think that that moment I'll, I'll never forget. There's a uh, overwhelming need to finish the job at a personal level because of what my men and their families and my friends have given. And that's, they've given everything. So there's a personal need for me to finish the job. Specialist Jemison. Here for Sergeant. Specialist Law. Here for Sergeant. Corporal Lindsay. Corporal James Lindsay. Corporal James Tyler Lindsay, present, home!